it's for tomorrow. I think so, Michael. I think a lot of people always ask, you know, is the weather going to make me want to go, not want to go, or what time of day is the best time to Certainly, go? Certainly, yeah. We're going to try to give that to you now. Uh, I think it's going to be a cold, brisk day, Michael, every hour of the day. Of course, when the sun's out, it'll probably feel a little bit nicer maybe when you're driving. I think temperatures early in the morning, if you're going out just before sunrise, you know, they're going to start out basically in the 30s. 30s for lows after having 60s for lows over the weekend. And we take you through the morning here. Temperatures rising up to the 40s for about 10, 11 a.m. I think we'll spike up around the upper 40s. Might struggle to get the 50 during the afternoon. And then if you're going to be one of those folks that go after work in the evening, temperatures are kind of falling off through the 40s back down the upper 30s as early as 8 p.m. So dress for the chill for Election Day tomorrow. Temperature right now, it's 53 at the airport in Syracuse. 52 in Ithaca, 51 in Watertown. A little colder, though, for Skinny Atlas, Cortland, Hamilton, already in the 40s. As we go through the evening time here, in case you are going to the SU game, dress for winter, dress for the chill, hat, you know, maybe gloves, but I say at least a hat and a, and a heavy winter coat because it's really going to be brisk, especially up on the hill with the wind and the cold temperatures together. Basically 40s plus a brisk wind can make it feel like the 30s at times. Rest for that. All right, we got a mainly clear sky now. These clouds to our north are kind of what's called convective clouds. They got very cold air up high. The surface heats up by the sun and you get kind of, kind of bubbling up. Well, those are dissipating with the loss of the daytime heating, relatively speaking, and temperatures are dropping. We're at 53 now here in Syracuse, but look at to our north and west. Look at 35, 36 for Minneapolis and Duluth. We have a couple days on the seven day forecast. We may not get to 40 in Syracuse after being 80 yesterday. It's central New York, right? Temperatures as we go through the night into tomorrow morning, settling down from the 40s. And I think some spots tonight will be in the mid 30s like Syracuse. Maybe a couple rural towns could reach the freezing mark. Maybe a couple high 20s. Otherwise, just cold for everybody and a few lake effect clouds. These little streamers here on north northwest winds that cold. Then we go through time tomorrow, spiking up maybe the upper 40s. We don't even know if we're going to hit 50. I don't think we will. And with a brisk breeze again in the north and northeast, it'll add a little wind chill in the forecast too, making it feel like, again, the high 30s, low 40s. Then Wednesday morning will be colder than tomorrow morning. We're actually looking at temperatures colder than what this model shows. I think we're going to be in the 20s in Syracuse, and that's pretty cold. That means readings in the North Tug Hill, Adirondacks, some of the hill towns could be in the upper teens. Man, it's just cold even saying that here during this weathercast. And Wednesday afternoon, highs will be approaching 60 degrees, and he's trying to get there. All right, your forecast looks like this for the next seven days. Again, tonight, mid-30s for Syracuse, 49 the high for tomorrow, your election day. Nice and sunny, though. Wednesday, 59, nice and sunny. I used to like that dry pattern, though. No rain in the forecast. 67 on Thursday, sun and clouds. Friday, Veterans Day, the banks are closed. The post office is closed, I believe, as well. Rain holds off till Friday, like evening, dinner time, And then it could be heavy at times into Saturday morning. Saturday, early high of 53, and I think it's going to drop. The SU football game back at home, another cold one in the evening time, too. Sunday, Monday, highs only in the upper 30s. Partly sunny, lake effect rain showers, lake effect snow showers, blustery conditions as well.